Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to another episode of our daily Ramadan contest, where you would listen to a short talk, answer a couple of questions, and you'll get a chance to win, inshallah. Our special thanks to our sponsors, Halla Pastry USA for your authentic Lebanese sweets and pastries, Orchid Dates for Medina Ajwa and Medjool Dates, Modafa, your one-stop shop for Islamic essentials, and Al Manasik, your Hajj and Umrah companion. We're also helping with the construction and expansion projects of 18 Islamic centers here in the United States. This is a Sadaqa Jariya, so please do take advantage of such an opportunity, especially during this blessed month of Ramadan. To donate, please click on the link below, dalilo.com slash stronger together. And I would leave you, inshallah, with our respected guest. Wassalamu alaikum. Alhamdulillah, wa salatu wa salamu ala rasulillah wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa man wala. Amma ba'du, assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. In the ninth year after the hijrah of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, after the migration of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam to al Medina, the Arabic tribes and the Arabic delegations started to come to al Medina in order to pledge allegiance to Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and to declare their new faith, to declare that they are Muslims. Amongst the tribes that came to al Medina was the tribe of Abdul Qais. The people of this tribe were very eager to meet Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and to pledge Islam to him. So the moment they arrived to al Medina, they left their camels and their horses untied. They left their belongings and rushed towards the mosque. Except one man amongst them who did not rush. Instead, he made sure to tie all the horses or the camels. He made sure to change his clothes traveling clothes. He took a shower and changed his traveling clothes, then went to the mosque to meet Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa So when he arrived, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa called him and made him sit next to him. This man is called Al-Ashaj Abdul Qais. His real name is Al-Mundir ibn al-Harith, but he was called Al-Ashaj because he has a scar on his face. He was called Al-Ashaj because he has a scar on his face. So when he sat next to Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam told him, Inna fika khislataini yuhibbuhum Allah, al-hilmu wal-anat. You certainly possess two qualities that are beloved to Allah azza wa jalla, and they are al-hilm, forbearance, and al-anat, uh, diligence, or patience, or prudence. So we learn from this uh, hadith, that these two qualities are beloved to Allah Azza wa Jalla, al-hilm wal anat forbearance and diligence. So what is al-hilm exactly in uh, Arabic? Al-hilm in Arabic means al-aql, the mind. Ulul ahlam, ulul ahlam, also called ulul nuha or ulul albab, meaning the people of sound mind, the people of understanding. They are called ulul ahlam, ulul albab. A lot in the Quran you find this term. Al-Anat is diligence. The contrary, the opposite of Ulul uh, Ahlam, the person who is Halim, the opposite of it is a person who is Aish, meaning he is violent. And the opposite of Al-Anat, uh, diligence, is what? Hastiness. And both of hastiness and violence are not liked in Islam. So the uh, Hilm and Anat is required in every uh, action and deed that we do. For example, for example, in the worldly matters or the religious matters, we need to have these qualities, al-hilm anat and we need to avoid al-ajala, we need to avoid hastiness. In the hadith narrated by al-Imam Bukhari, and muslim Abu Hurairah radiallahu anhu said, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, يُسْتَجَابُ لِأَحَدِكُمْ مَا لَمْ يَعْجَلْ يَقُولُ دَعَوْتُ فَلَمْ يُسْتَجَابْ لِي one of you will be answered as long as he is not hasty. He does not rush. He says, I invoked, I called, I asked, but I was never answered. So his hastiness, this person's hastiness, prevented him from being answered from Allah Azza wa Jalla because this person deals with Allah Azza wa Jalla based on time frame. He is given Allah Azza wa Jalla time frame for an answer. And that's not the way 
a believer should deal with Allah Azza wa Jalla. So hastiness is not liked. And what is liked instead? Al-anat, prudence, diligence. We need to also apply our prudence and diligence in our worthy affairs. Whenever we engage in a transaction, business transaction, we should have an anat. We should not rush for a transaction. We should make sure that this is beneficial. This is something that will not harm us when we engage in a big business transaction. Also, uh, in a marriage, you need to also be careful and make sure that this is the person that you want to live with and everything that you uh, want in this person is there. So, anat will heal are two qualities that are beloved to Allah and we should all of us acquire these two good qualities and this is the month of Al-Ibadah, this is the month of Al-Akhlaq and uh, we should all inshallah during this month train ourselves to have Al-Anat wal hil this is the month where we should practice that because we should not uh, act violently and we should not rush into things in this month, we should learn how to be patient, how to be diligent, how to be forbearant, inshallah, tabaraka wa ta'ala. At the end, I uh, give you three questions to answer, and I wish you all success. So the first question, what is the name of the tribe that went to meet Rasulullah sallam and they rushed to the mosque? Number two question, the second question is, what is the real name of al Ashaj? What is his real name. The third question, what is the opposite of Al-Hilm and Al-Anat? What is their opposite? I wish you the best. And at the end, I call all of you, inshallah, to make sure to participate and to donate to the uh, message, to this cause. And this is the month of Ramadan. This is the month of generosity. Let's all be generous and give, inshallah, and expect the reward from Allah subhanahu وتعالى جزاكم الله خيرا السلام عليكم ورحمة الله جزاكم الله خير for listening to submit your answers please click on the link below or visit dalilo.com slash contest and we do appreciate it if you can share the episode with your friends and family because we will be accepting answers till tomorrow at 5 p.m. inshallah I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to reward you for your ibadah and please do not forget to support the 18 construction and expansion projects we are helping this Ramadan. Jazakumullah khair and we'll see you in tomorrow's episode. Assalamu alaikum.